the legend of Mataora and Niwareka. The love affair between Mataora and Niwareka dates way back to ancient times. Mataora was a young warrior and his wife Niwareka was a beautiful maid who came from Rarohinga, the wonder world and realm of the spirits. They were happy for some time until Mataora became jealous and enraged. So it came about that he struck his wife. Niwareka then fled to be with her people in Rarohinga. Mataora mourned for Niwareka, so he set out to find her. Before he left to find Niwareka, he dressed in his finest garments and painted his face, hoping he can win back her love. After many trials and overcoming many obstacles, Mataora eventually arrived in Rarohinga, exhausted and his face paint messed up and dirty from his voyage. Niwareka's family mocked and taunted Mataora for his unsightly appearance as their bodies were permanently beautified with tamoko. In his humble state, Mataora begged for forgiveness from Niwareka and her family and, admiring their exquisite tattooed body patterns, he asked Niwareka's father, Uetonga, if he could learn the art of tamoko from him. Niwareka and her family eventually accepted Mataora's apology, and Uetonga agreed to teach him the art of tamoko, while Niwareka learned how to do taniko, the art of fine weaving. Mataora and Niwareka then returned to the human world, bringing with them the art of tamoko and tiny cool.